we are not ready to capitulate at this point. We are ready to stand firm. We are ready to remain resolute because our cause is just. But this time around, the, the government have chosen the third party who are the politicians. National Industrial Court has ruled out the ongoing strike of academic staff union of University ASU. The Mirror TV gathered. The court has ordered the ASU to end its ongoing nationwide strike, which started on February 14, 2022. Justice Polycap Herman, in a ruling on Wednesday, said he is invoking Section 18 of the Trade Act dispute, which allowed the court to order an end to a strike when national interest is at stake. The judge gave the order while administering in an application filed by the federal government asking that university teachers be constrained to return to work pending the resolution of their request for a better working circumstance. Our reporter Mbam Obianuji bring a report here in the Boeing States and on social media. Since then, reactions has been coming from different quarters across the nation. Whether as we go back to classroom without clear agreements with federal government or are they going to appeal the ruling? Here in Ebony State, the chairman Asu, Dr. Ogugwa Ebu, a lecturer in Federal University in the Fabrique Iko Funai, agreed that Asu fight is a just fight that needs absolute attention and lasting solution. Hear him. And as a union, who is a body, as a body of intellectuals, we are not perturbed because we are remaining resolute, we are remaining intact as a family, as a union, as a body. And of course, the right thing that will be done will be done. And that that will be done is that we will come together. We are thinking caps and then follow the next line of action, which of course is already in the, the social media and the public domain that ASU will appeal, ASU will appeal. Well, we have not uh, been completely informed that ASU has appealed. But if it happens, we will follow it. And of course, we are not ready to capitulate at this point. We are ready to stand firm. We are ready to remain resolute because our cause is just. Our cause is not just just. It is for the good, for the greater good of the public university system in Nigeria. It is for the greater good of our well-meaning and teeming youths. It is for the greater good of Nigeria as a country. And so, whatever we decide, will still be in the public domain and you will know, you will be reliably informed. I want our students to know that we are on the same page, that we feel their pains, we feel their sufferings, and whatever we do today is for their own good. I will not be a teacher forever. People will have to come after us. And because those students that we have, the government has abandoned, to be in the streets are actually the ones that should come after us. We are standing in the gap for them. So that when it is their time, their time will be filled with tales of goodwill and good stories. Yeah, even before the ruling of the court, yes. people uh, believe it to me that the court of public opinion has always urged us to resume duties. Yes. Going by the fact that you know this as so matter affects everybody. Exactly. The parents, the students. So what do you what do you think also would concede to the cry, the willing of the members of the public? Yes. I'm not surprised to, for this question to have come from you. The court of public opinion has diverse opinions. And I tell you with all manner of sincerity that the majority of the jury that formed that court of public opinion believe that ASU's cause is just. 
If you have written this thing to our various uh, interactive sessions in radios, TVs, people phone in and say, Asu, please do not stand down. Because what you are doing is just. I am a parent, don't forget that. So I belong to that court of public opinion. My colleagues who are students in the university, postgraduate students, also feel the pain of this strike. If you go to our campuses, you find out that the canteens are not working, the transport industry is not working, the photocopy business centers are not working. You find out that each and every one of every people, everybody in these sectors feel the pain. But when they realize that the whole essence of this struggle is for people who are within the university community, a universe in the universe, are comfortable, have all the social amenities, have all the paraphernalia needed for learning. You find out that when you interview them, interrogate them, you see, even though it hurts, but sincerely, Asu's cause is just. But is Asu, are they ready to shift you out? My brother, should, you have your demand, government has his own demand. My brother, the annoyance is that government has not made any, 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 any preposition. The proposition you are aware of is the proposition of give and take. Take it or leave it, sorry. Take it or leave it. If you don't like, go to hell. No! Even the military dictators did not do this. The last time government took us to court was during the military junta. And it failed, of course. If you recall, if you're a good student of history, you find that at that time they even went as far as going to our staff quarters to evacuate our colleagues from the from 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 from, from the quarters, push them out, embarrass them and their families, but it didn't stop us all from getting the right course. Today, people want to be lecturers because of the struggles of the of the heroes that we had in the past, and we standing in the gap at this present time have that historical responsibility to remain in that gap, to ensure that the generation that will come after us will not suffer what we have suffered and what we are suffering. It is not just about the court of the public, uh, uh, public. it's about the conscience of the people. It's about the future of our children. I remember, if the present is bleak, the future will be non-existent. So the students have realized that indeed this course is for their own interest. And they must stand by it. We encourage them to remain resolute, to remain empathic to their teachers, to the struggles of their teachers. And I tell you most solemnly, these students that you see who are in the streets, raising their voices like the voice in the wilderness will be repaid by the future which shall of course be to the advantage because this struggle when it comes when the dividends start coming they are the ones that will enjoy it we may not even be there and so we encourage the students to remain resolute to stand firm know they are right if you ask these government officials that are there today Sorry for my outburst. If you ask them, some of them were we schooled freely. We had three course meals. We, I remember some of them said they had full chicken. Three times a day with egg. Chicken and egg. They enjoyed the whole process of schooling. Education was fun. But what are our students enjoying? Absolutely nothing. They enjoy using stove as buns and burners. They enjoy living 10 in a room meant for three. They enjoy staying 300 in a classroom meant for 50. I wish you had a copy of the needs assessment report of 2012. If you have a copy of that, uh, that report, I believe it will inform you more to tell the world that indeed our cause is just. People wish of revitalization to ask for their pocket. And I ask myself, they go hand in hand. If the environment is wonderful and our pocket is empty, where is the motivation? If you go around Africa as a continent, I want to go beyond Africa. 
Nigeria is the least, Nigerian lecturers are the least paid. And that is what we are asking for. African average, you're not even asking for the, the highest in Africa. African average. If government comes with a proposition, we are human beings. We can always have a concession. There will always be a middle ground. But government has come with nothing. After seven months, more than seven months of industrial action, government has remained adamant. They are rather revitalizing the aviation sector. They are rather revitalizing fuel subsidy. They are rather feeding children, non-existent children in the name of uh, uh, school feeding. Children's school feeding. It is an anomaly of a nation. And we shall not continue to remain silent and unconcerned. The problem with Nigerians is that we are docile. It is high time we all raise our voices, not just as teachers in the university, but as journalists, to tell the world the gospel truth. I'm sure recently you know that the president approved a DTA allowance of over 80,000 naira for ministers and pamphlets. I don't know if you saw it. That 80,000 naira is more, three times more than a minimum wage of a civil servant in Nigeria. What who are we deceiving for Christ's sake? We should tell ourselves the truth. Asus' cause is just. And let us all know that we have a collective responsibility to let the world know that the government is playing with the future, toiling with the future of our children. Ogugwaebu is my name. Chairperson Asu Eifunai. Alex Ekweme, Federal University, Mbufali Kenebon State. Meanwhile, Comrade Alfred Olisanguruku, National Vice President NAS, and a student at Boy State University, affirmed that ASU strike has gotten the students into a mess and urged ASU and federal government to resolve the problem before it got out of hand, as they are not going to back off on protests until students' demands are met, which is going back to classroom. Hear him. Uh, this one is the one that got us in a mess where we've stayed for seven good months without uh, attending to academic activities. The federal government on their part took them to court. The action is what the students uh, did not buy. We were not happy with the federal government taking them to court. They wanted to derive from the main issue at hand, which is meeting up with the demand of the academic staff union of university. These demands are demands that are interesting to the students because they are not just fighting for their pockets, but they are also fighting for our own welfare. We are also worried. Why we are worried is that uh, this same government is a government that is shifting from the, uh, their responsibility of providing for the demands and the improved academic welfare of Nigerian students. Uh, instead, they've decided to take our parents, who are the ASU members, to court. This uh, court action is what everybody knows that it is not always very easy to end. They will continue to be in court while we are at home, suffering. So this is a call that uh, at this point in time, the national leadership of NAS is supporting the government. Why we are supporting the government is that um, ASU should call off the strike. When they call off the strike, let them not derail from the issue of discourse. The issue of discussion is that we want to be in our various tertiary institutions studying, especially those that are in the uh, universities. ASU is also understanding the fact that we are entering Nigerian general election. They are purposely keeping us at home for the use of these politicians. And that is why we are eager to support the government at this time for us to go back to school. Supporting the government doesn't mean that we don't want them to meet up with the demand of us. Supporting them means that uh, we want them to resume in a good faith this time. And uh, we are also uh, waiting for them, the promises they have made that they are going to pay them the salaries they are owing them. So once this are made, we are appealing to us so that they should call off the strike for the interest of us, 
Nigerian students who they are assuming that they are lazy, we are staying at home, waiting to be instrument that will be used in the general election. That is why the national leadership of NAS is supporting the government that also should call off the strike. But this time around, the, the government have chosen the third party who are the politicians. The Senate have once intervened with the leadership. The reps have once intervened in the leadership. And what are they going to also say? They are going to say the same thing. They must support the government that is in power. At this point in time, I think uh, the government, if they needed a third party, they should involve the non-governmental organization. They should also en en involve other civil society organizations. They should also involve the, the Christian Association of Nigeria and uh, their own Muslim counterparts. They should also involve some registered student union leadership. When they involve these bodies, we'll be able to place it at a table and we we'll also make our own independent finding. While we make our own independent finding, we recommend to the government that, ah, our parents have cried a lot. This is the part that you should meet up. And for us, look, the government cannot provide everything. These are the parts you should drop for now. Why we wait for the next government to meet up with such demand? We are aware that the government will soon be rounding off. And uh, the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is also setting a bad precedence. This is the first time myself I'm hearing that uh, ASU is being taken to court by the federal government. This decision of theirs is not heady. And uh, we are praying that they should review it instead of them derailing from the point of discussion. They should review it, withdraw the matter, and engage ASU like uh, a normal union, and not just forcefully taking them to court. There are so many of us, so many branches of National Association of Nigeria who are not in tandem with the national president calling off the protests. Zundi, which is southwest, they are continuously protesting. And our own zone, there was a meeting yesterday in Enugu. Tomorrow there may also be another meeting. The likelihood of the protest continuing is 50% because we don't want to wait for any other time. This is the only window we have. If campaign starts now, we are going to be busy. Many of us who are members of political party are going to be busy. And that is why we are using this point and this time to make this demand and to make it very loud. The Southwest have threatened that the campaigns will not hold. Some other zones like Zone A and the Adamawa region have also threatened that the election campaign will not hold. So we are not in total support that we are leaving the streets. It is just a frame, a time frame, maybe within some days. If we find out that the activities and the conclusions they are making is not favorable to us, with what we are seeing, as we will not call off the strike. Because they believe that they have the way with that legally to protest the ploy of the government against them. So we will not leave the streets for now. Reactions from social media. BBC News Pigeon Post. Awambe M. Isaiah. I cannot just force blames on us because I am a victim. There are certain things to be considered over this issue. One, it is true that federal government made an agreement with ASU. So what is hindering the implementation? My opinion, problem cannot be be forced to be eradicated, finished. But when the cause of the problem is removed, the problem is automatically sent off. Let the federal government do the need for and stop playing over the intelligence of those great and highly knowledgeable lecturers and strike will come to its end. Joshua Matthew, the judge should come should resign and lecture, yeah, yeah, judge. Florence Gambo, ask you please end the strike for the sake of God and our students. Plato's Ukubile, what a country where court is used to prevent quality education. Felix Paul, Nigeria education is finished. I am Mbam Obianuju, the Mirror TV. Well, it is good that federal government and that's do the needful. For the sake of our nation, Nigeria, before things get out of hand, please don't forget to drop your comment at the comment section. I am Mbam Sylvester. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel Demiro TV on YouTube, Demiro on Facebook, Demiro TV on Twitter. Subscribe and follow us, and we shall be giving you updates 
of the activities here in Ebo State and across the globe for advert placement or sponsorship call the number showing on the screen or email us at mbamsilvester.com